maintaining proper belt tension on vibrating screens, crushes, pumps and fans is a high priority. More often than not, belts are either too tight, causing early bearing failures, or too loose, resulting in transmission losses, which result in costly downtime. Mounting devices like jacking bolts or motor rails do not provide continuous tensioning of the belts and need periodic maintenance. The complex retention, including realigning the pulleys with certified staff, easily requires several hours of downtime. In contrast, the Roster self-tensioning motor base compensates belt elongation continuously, increasing drive efficiency and eliminating downtime. The simple installation steps of the self-tensioning Roster motor base. Place the Roster motor base on the substructure and tighten the foundation fasteners slightly. Fit the motor onto the motor plate. Align the pulleys in parallel. The roster motor base will remain aligned through the whole machine lifetime. Tighten all anchor bolts and motor base plate bolts to the standard torque specifications. To tension the belts, follow the four instruction steps on the side plate sticker. Only one 30mm flat wrench is needed for the tensioning process. Loosen the central pivot bolt. Use the pre-tensioning device to tilt the motor towards the driven pulley. Install a matched set of belts. Use the pre-tensioning device to tilt the motor away from the driven pulley to tighten the belts. Tighten the belts according to the belt supplier's recommended test force. Tensioning indicator will usually stay between 15 to 20 degrees. Retighten the center bolt to the indicated torque value. Fit the safety guards. Changing the belts is quick and easy. Follow the four instruction steps on the side plate sticker. Again, only one 30mm flat wrench is needed. Loosen the central pivot bolt. Use the pre-tensioning device to tilt the motor towards the driven pulley. Change to a matched set of belts. Use the pre-tensioning device to tilt the motor away from the driven pulley to tighten the belts according to the belt supplier's recommended test force. No realignment work is needed. Retighten the center bolt to the indicated torque value. Fit the safety guard 